welcome to Learning Booster, your digital learning companion. Hello children, let us understand the concept of zero and the value of zero when it is all alone. Look, there are some frogs in the pond. Let us count the frogs. One, two, three and four. There are four frogs in the pond. One frog hops out. Now let us count the frogs in the pond. One, two and three. There are three frogs in the pond. Again one more frog hops out. Now how many frogs are left in the pond? Let us count. One and two. There are two frogs left in the pond. Oh, again one more frog hops out. Now how many frogs are left in the pond? Let's count. One. There is one frog left in the pond. Oh, what happened? Even this frog hopped out. Now, there are no frogs left in the pond. This means there are zero frogs in the pond. Look, there are five butterflies on the bush. All the butterflies flew away. Now, how many butterflies does the bush have? We say the bush has zero butterflies. Oh, look at what I just saw. There are three birds sitting on this branch. There are zero birds sitting on this branch. Now we understood what zero means. Zero means no object and hence it has no value of its own. Let us learn to write the number zero. Zero, zero, zero means nothing to it. Make a long circle, I can do it. 